Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are going to install a radar on our Open Media Vault 5 with the help of Talker and Portainer. So let's do it. First of all, let's just go ahead and open the Portainer right here. And uh, let's go to containers and then add container. For this practical, we are using this image, Linux Server Radar. Let's just copy it and paste it in the image name and type the name here as Radar. And we need to check from the bottom that it's available for ARM64 or not. So it's available. You can see it right here. Now let's just move down and check Docker and the things that we require here. So it's a uh, the volumes that we need is config movies and the downloads it says path to download client downloads so we have already installed transmission on our open media world we will provide this path as the download path for our radar now let's go ahead and go back here we need PUID and PGID that is thousand thousand and the third environment valuable is time zone and you must set that is optional set to 0.22 so the ports that it's used is 7878 so let's just go ahead and start entering the port number so it says 7878 7878 now let's move down to volumes and add three volumes that is config movies and downloads let's just So let's go back to our file manager and start creating the path. Let's create a new folder with the name radar. Under radar, let's create a folder for config and other folder for movies or we can do one thing uh, for movies. We will use the plex path where we have all the movies. So let's just go back and start placing the path here. And for the time zone, we can just go to the date and time and check the time zone from here. Let's go ahead and copy this and paste it here. Then we need to go into environment and then we need to create one, two, three, four environments. So let's just do that. So PUID, PGID, time zone, and after that, the name is U mask set. That's the value 0, 22. So my time zone is Asia, Kolkata, PGID is 100 and PUID is 1001 for my user PC Mac. Let me just show you. It's right here. You can find out by typing ID and the username. In my case, it's PC Mac. So let's just minimize it and then go back here and restart unless stopped. Restart policy unless stopped. Everything is done. Let's just click on deploy the container and check whether we are able to access radar or not. Let's click on deploy and when we move down, we can see that we can use the radar interface on port number 7878. Let's just start typing 26 and 7878. Go back to portainer and check whether it's deployed successfully or not. We need to wait because it's downloading the image right now on our open media vault. So it's done and running. Let's just go ahead and click here and hit enter to check whether we are able to access it or not. 
I think we need to wait for a moment. So it started successfully as you can see here. Now let's just go here on system. Here you can see the disk space for config 20 GB, movies 20 GB, downloads 20 GB. Now let's go to settings and we require a download client. Let's click on add and the download client that we are using is transmission. The port number that it's using is 9091. Let's just name it as transmission. Everything is good. We just need to put our name and the password that we have created. Now you can leave the other things as it is and click on save. Or you can just click on test to check whether it's able to communicate with it or not. So it says unable to connect. We just need to type our address for our open media world and then test again. Testing transmission succeeded. So let's go ahead and click on save. Now you can see it says it's enabled in our next video we will try to find some indexes try to add indexes as you can see we have lots of things here or we can just use the indexes from here just select rare bag test it testing succeed click on save select some more So other indexes required some keys we will don't use them in my next video i'll show you how you can use check it to download the indexes let put it on this rare bag only now let's just select no leave those things as it is quality you can select the quality according to your choice We have the download client now. You can just leave the other things as it is. If you need to change anything, you can just go ahead and do that. It can be done later on, no problem with it. We have we need to save the information. So I clicked on save now. Once the settings are done, let's go ahead and click on add movies and then try to look for some movies. So let's look for Revengers. And it's right here. So let's set the path. So let's select movies. And as you can see, we have one movies in that folder, Ford versus Ferrari. So click on OK and then click on this green check to select that path. And click on close. So it's add successfully to movies. Now let's just click on the plus sign to add the movie. Once it's done, let's just go back to add movies or just click on movies from here and you can see your movies right here. Click on the movie name and then you need to click on search. It will start searching for the movie, all the movies available on the internet. So you can go ahead and download that. And as you can see, it gives us all the versions right here. 61 GB, 13 GB. Let's just look for some small one that it's right here 1.2 GB and click on download by clicking on this small download icon it will start downloading the movie in our transmission so the movie successfully added here in our transmission as you can see Avenger Endgame 2019 and it will start downloading in a moment so you can see 0 KB 0 KB and it will start in a moment. Let's check. Or we can always go ahead and download a different version anytime. Now you can see the top one is start downloading 1.4 MB. Let's just pause the below one and then remove that.
and it's working let me take you to the folder it's right here we have one movie so this one will show up in a moment once the download is complete so it will also available here and we can access this movie on our Plex media server that means we can access it on our mobile for anywhere that is connected with the Plex let's just go back here and check whether it start downloading or not you can see it's getting speed and it's downloading the movie 12.6% so by doing this simple method you can download the movie on your folders and you can sync it on your devices so guys that's it from my end uh, on this video by doing the simple steps you can configure a DAR on your open media world and create a media library on your Raspberry Pi 4 so guys if you like my work please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for my latest videos and share this video with your family and friends thanks for watching bye bye take care have a nice day